Okay, what is up everyone? This is Kiran here. Welcome back again to Tech and YouTube channel. This is Paranoid Android based on Android 12 for the Redmi Note 8 users. If you're a user of Redmi Note 8, the new version of Paranoid Android is here. Looks quite good, good stability, and you can have some else modules to customize this Android 12 based custom room. Let's find out some things which you get in this latest update based on Android 12 for this device. The version which I'm talking about here is of course based on Android 12 with the February security patch and parent Android Sapphire Alpha 3 version and the thing is it has all the default things which you get in all the Paranoid Android based updates for this device or almost any device wherever you're using Paranoid Android quite famous custom room actually and I think so you already know about this the Quicksilver kernel is what you get pre-installed and if you want to change this kernel if you want to use a custom kernel you can it's up to you but make sure to have a proper backup before installing any custom kernel on your device and make sure to report the bugs if you're having any in this one moving on to some other things here quickly as quickly as possible we don't have the pixel launcher pre-installed as expectedly but we have the paranoid android launcher the customized paranoid android launcher which includes the app lock and a lot more other things the video for that already available on my hindi channel make sure to check out that we have the other options, the device and app notifications. Some other options include the notification, notification dots related, of course, options and some suggestions, the double tap gestures, etc, etc. It's what you get by default in this launcher. Including that, if we move on to the developer options, there are other options available for you to a lot of other options. Actually, it looks quite good and interesting. Some options are quite useful. Some options are not. Some are of no use for you for sure, but some are actually quite good. If you want to try out this launcher, this launcher looks good. And if you want to change this launcher by using some disk modules, it's up to you. It's up to you if you want to use it. Moving on to the quick settings panel, it does not include any kind of separate things or separate UI changes for you. But one thing, keep in mind, you have the Wi-Fi and mobile data separate tiles by default available. You don't need any kind of customizable things or things to customize this or change this in settings or anything. If you want to add or remove any tile from here, just one click and you're good to go. You don't need any kind of drag and drop to use this thing. This looks better, of course, including that if you have, if you're able to look, you have the dark theme and other extra tiles available but we don't have the screenshot tile unfortunately that is what i was looking for the screenshot tile should be available there but it's not no worries about that and if you're able to see the power menu the power menu also is in white background which is actually looking good also the quick settings panel also has a white background instead of the black one which looks better if you compare it with the black one but yes it's just my opinion if you don't want to use it if you don't like it it's up to you Let's take a look at some other things as quickly as possible as always. If you're able to see, it's quite smooth. It's quite stable. It's quite smooth. The, oh, the full screen gestures, etc. working flawlessly. And I didn't got any kind of lags so far. As I'm using some time, the multitasking seems to be great enough. I'm not comparing it to Project Arcana. Every room is good in their own perspectives, but this one is not so bad. This is what I was want to let you know. The room looks quite good and stable and quite fast. Talking about the camera section, which also plays an important role in all the custom rooms. Don't worry, the camera section is, of course, as expected, has a MIUI camera, what you get pre installed, which includes a photo mode. We have the 48 megapixel, which is working, of course. So this is what you get pre installed. It is not ANX camera, this is a MIUI camera. The portrait mode will not give you the force flow, so yes, portrait mode is working fine here. Night mode, panorama mode, and pro mode, all these things are available as expected. What you get in MIUI camera is what you get by default in this one too. The things are quite same and almost same like the stock MIUI. The camera section seems to be different, not actually different, sorry, it's looking good. And including that, if you want to try out the G cams, etc., you can. The G cam videos are already available on my Hindi channel. Make sure to check out those G cams. Any, if any GCAM works for you, it's absolutely good. I think so. Any one of the GCAM should definitely work. A lot of GCAM's videos are already available on my channel. 
This also plays an important role of course called safety net status and safe net status is passing in my case without having any issues. If you want to use a custom ROM and don't want to root this like in my case I am also using this but without rooting my device as you can see safe net status is passing here for me without having any issues. You don't need any kind of separate modules or safety net modules to pass safe net status to use banking apps. No worries you can use this ROM without root and use banking apps on your device. A lot of users will definitely say that I've rooted my device or using any safety net modules at Sikta. So that is why that is why I've installed this app called Root Checker basically just to show you that I haven't rooted my device. Safeness status is passing. You can check out the time and my status bar. So that will tell you that this is actually a right video, not a fake video for some of the users. If you want to comment this, make sure to check out this before commenting. This is what we have without root access. Safeness status is passing in this build. Let's move on to the settings app and check out if we have something for you or not. We don't have any kind of customizations, any kind of features which was expected in Paranoid Android. It is stock Android and yes, it is stock Android 12 right now. One thing I like about Paranoid Android is it is without any features. So as you can customize a lot of things, it has the pixel props available for you. Not all pixel props, but some of the useful ones already included. I think so Google Photos unlimited storage is also included. We have the Xiaomi parts included by the way, if you are an admin user and looking for the Xiaomi part thing, this is by default included, you don't need any kind of separate app or any kind of separate tweak to do that. Xiaomi parts includes the display color calibration which some of the users will definitely use this. LCD features, Mi Sound Enhancer also plays an important role including that the clear speaker option is also there. One of the best things which you get in any guest rooms called Xiaomi parts is already included in this one. I think so a good positive in this one. If you're able to see the version which I'm using is of course from February security patch but a little bit old one. So yes that is why no app lock and no face unlock unfortunately present. I think so in the upcoming updates they will provide you the face lock for sure. I'm not sure about the app lock but face lock should be included in the upcoming builds. Let's hope for it. Things pretty much I have shown you were all the things which I just want to let you know about this build called Paranoid Android, the latest version which has a February security patch, etc. If you're able to see no major customizations, of course, you can customize some icons, not actually customize, but you can enable or disable some icons from the status bar, but other things are kind of same. The best part is wallpapers and style include some system icon packs. So yes, if you want to use the other icon packs, in my case, I'm using the Sam icon pack, which is one of my favorite ones. I always use this thing, including that in system, we have the live translate feature, which you always use if you want to use, which you can use on your device and swipe to screenshot is also included as a gesture thing. Advanced restart is of course present in this one. If you move into the restart section, you'll be able to see. These were things I just want to let you know if you want to install this build link is in the description. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share this. I'll see you next video. Until then, goodbye, take care. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.